us to the sixth episode in a series of 12 episodes that are focused on the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 2. So the first five episodes covered question one through five. So if you haven't seen those episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or you can check out on top to your right hand side of your screen. You see a playlist that contains all the 12 episodes that cover each of the 12 questions. And also just take note that we've done paper one. Just check on our YouTube channel. You see a playlist that contains all the solutions to the 23 questions. So question six A leads in the diagram. So question six A leads in the diagram. O A is equal to two vector M. Then A B is equal to vector B. Then O C is equal to three multiplied by vector B. M is the midpoint of O B, and O C is parallel to A B. Express in terms of A and O vector B. So A is also a vector. We have Roman numeral one O B, Roman numeral two C B, then Roman numeral three vector A C, then uh, Roman numeral 4 vector C M. Then we have B. The equation of a curve is Y is equal to X to the power 3 minus 23X. Find the coordinates of the turning points of the above curve. Okay, so let's start with equation A. So for question A, we are given the key information. So the first question we need to find is O B. So how do you move from O to B? So you see this one. How do you move there? So there are two options. We move from O to C, then to B. Or O to A, then to B. So what have we been given? So we've been given O A and A B. So it's better we go with him. The O A, then A B. So Loman numero one. So O B, this movement is equal to we come to A, which is O M, then plus A B. So what is O M? O A is two vector M. Then plus C. What is A B? So it's vector B. So like just like that, you get the one mark. Lemma numeral two C B. So to get to C B to get to B using C B. How can we get that? So we need to connect these two. So we need to look for the complete direction. So this is in this direction. So this should be this direction because we are saying C B. So we know O B. So the complete direction is this one, then this one we arrive at B. Or moving from O straight to B. So what this tells me is now Loma number two. O B, this vector is equal to as the same as moving to O C, then connecting from O C to C B. That's the movement. So there are many ways of getting to a given destination. So now moving from O to B direct is the same as moving from O to C, then connecting from C to B. So we are looking for which one? We're looking for C B. So we need to make this one the subject of the formula. So because this is what we are looking for. So to find C B is the same as O B minus O C because O C the moment it crosses the equal sign it comes inside it becomes a negative is equal to C B. So vector C B now, I write it in this format, is equal to O B. So we just rearrange them, then minus O C. So what is vector OB? We just found it in Loma numeral 1. So it's 2 vector M, then plus vector B, then minus what is OC? So OC is 3 vector B with this one. So minus 3 vector B. Then we simplify the right terms. So we're going to have 2 vector A minus 2 vector B because B vector b minus 3 vector b is negative 
two vector b so this is Romani numero two as simple as that then we move to a sim so how can we find a c so again let me just lab so that you can see clearly what we are doing so what is in a c so we are looking for vector a c so where is the point so it's a c so you see this point which is in this direction remember we found the c b so a c so how can we get to c from a so this direction is someone's going to a b then this direction but we need to connect so from a to c then to b or just a b so we have to get to b we can go to c then get back to b like that so that's how we can do that so let me use this space let me use the, the, the cleaner space but what we know is before i even go there i can use this space so that when you go to get there it's easier so to get to a b so a b vector a b is the same as going to c from a then moving from c to b we are ending at b that's what we are looking for but the question is asking us to find a c so a c now is equal to a vector a b minus c b is equal to vector a c that's it the principle so we make a c the subject of the formula so at that point now i can move to the new page so i know that a c so this is Roman numero three so a c vector a c is equal to we just found this one to be a b minus c b so you see a b minus c b so what is a b so a b is this one which is b vector b so we have vector b here minus what is c b so remember we are just from finding c b so c b is this answer here the answer that we just found here so it's two vector a minus c two vector b that's what it is so what now do we need to do so let us substitute in these so substituting we have two a vector a then minus c two vector b so what we've just done is we just substituted that one then we can simplify so we're going to have vector b minus two vector a then plus because negative times negative is a positive two vector b then we collect the right terms we're going to have three vector b minus two vector a so this is the final answer then we can look at Loma numero form cm so cm which is in this direction so how can we find cm so to get to m we can move here to m or go to c then come back to m so we have vector om so this is Loma numero for vector o m is the same as o c then plus c m remember we're looking for c m again here we make the c m the subject of formula so o m that vector minus o c is equal to vector c m so vector c m now becomes vector o m minus or C. So what is OM? So if you come here, we are told that M is a midpoint of OB and we found OB in question 1. So what it means is OM, that vector is equal to half vector OB. 
that's what it means so what we need to do now is we need to come here and say this is f vector o b minus o c so vector o b we found it to be this one so it will be 2 vector a plus a vector b then minus what is o c so o c is given to us is 3 vector b so 3 vector b then we just simplify at this point we are going to have a vector then plus a half vector b then minus a 3 vector b then we simplify here it will be half minus a 3 vector b so we are going to end up with half minus 5 over 2 vector b so this is the final answer for loma numero 4 Okay, so let us move to question e, B. So it leads, the equation of a curve is y is equal to y to the power 3. So y is equal to x to the power 3 minus 27x. Find the coordinates of the turning points of the curve. So at the turning point, whether it's this one, this is a turning point. So this turning point, the slope is in zero. So meaning dy dx is equal to zero. Or if you have this is a turning point at the maximum, at this point dy dx equals zero. So we need to differentiate this function with respect to x. So we have dy dx, that's the first step. When you ask to find the turning points of the curve. So we have 3x square minus 27. So now it's this one that we need to equate to 0. When you equate to 0, we're going to find this point at which the curve is changing from reducing to increasing or increasing to reducing. So it's this point that we are looking for. So if you are to find the coordinates, we need to find the value of x and the value of y. So if you know the value of x, we can find the value of y. So we equate this to 0, so it will be 3x square minus 27 is equal to 0, because the gradient is equal to 0. Then, at this point, what we need to do now is we have 3x square is equal to 27. Then, we divide by 3, we divide by 3, so x square is equal to 9. Then, we find the square root of x square and 9 then we are going to discover that x is equal to positive or minus 3 because negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 positive 3 times positive 3 is 9 so we have two values of x so x1 is equal to 3 then x2 is equal to minus 3 then at this point we go to the original equation here and find the two values of y okay so remember we are looking for 10 turning points not point turning points there's that two so the first one is when which is y1 when x is equal to 3 so it will be 3 cubic minus 27 multiplied by 3 so 3 times 3 times 3 is 27 minus 27 multiplied by 3 which is 81 so at this point now is we subtract we're going to find that y1 is equal to minus 54 remember the calculator is allowed so the first turning point is now 3 comma negative 54 that's the first turning point the second one to be y2 so under y2 we need to substitute the x2 so again to be x2 to the power 3 minus 27 x so at this point I can factor out x2 so that it's much more easier. So we're going to have x2 square minus 27. So we're going to have negative 3 then negative 3 square minus 27. So at this point we're going to have minus 3 then minus positive 9 minus 27. So 
we are going to end up with him the case of minus 3 times negative 18 so when we multiply that we are going to discover that we are going to have positive 52 so instead of going to another space i can write it here so we're going to have minus 3 comma 54 because negative 3 multiplied by negative 18 it will give us positive 54 so these two are the turning points these two are the turning points that we are looking for so just say turning points so these are the turning points so once you do this you get these three marks so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at question seven in detail